Get ready folks, we're diving into the heart of an epic showdown in Deadpool 3. Imagine a heavyweight brawl challenging Deadpool with his healing powers. Negasonic, Domino, and Colossus aren't just spectators. They've joined the game, transforming it with their unique abilities. Let's not overlook mind readers like Jason Stryker and Professor X, who can potentially explode Deadpool's mind. With a bunch of X-Men from Fox's universe make an appearance in the lone MCU film of 2024. Brace yourself for a thrilling mutant movie where being bold proof doesn't mean unbeatable. Buckle up, as these 10 mutants might just prove that Deadpool isn't the strongest. Smash that like the button, hit subscribe and stay tuned for more hot scoops testing out cool skills. Number 10. Jason Stryker could cause Deadpool to stop fighting. Professor Charles Xavier is an Omega level mutant whose telepathic powers nearly destroyed all mutants and humans on Earth. His coming dangerously close to carrying out these massacres was a direct result of even his powerful mind being overcome by Jason Stryker. Stryker's ability to project powerful illusions was all it took to cause Xavier to nearly renege on all he was building towards, operating as little more than a puppet. Deadpool then probably doesn't stand a chance. Deadpool is a previously tragic character who's sharp with counterbalances, the trauma he has experienced. He is also deeply in love with Vanessa, whose death drove him to blow himself up in a futile attempt to end his suffering. All the striker would have to do then is to exploit his ankles, heal the project with a powerful illusion of Vanessa into his mind. Even if Deadpool was aware, it is unlikely that he would want to escape this dream world, thereby rendering him absolute. Number 9. Blink could trap Deadpool in an infinite portal. Blink was woefully underutilized in Fox's X-Men universe, but her brief experience in X-Men Days of Future Past demonstrated precisely the kind of feats she was capable of. As the ill-fated mutants of the original timeline took their last stand against the Sentinels, Blink's portal-generating abilities trivialized space, synergized with her teammates to mesmerizing effect, and were even shown to dismember the Sentinels. While dismembering Deadpool is always an option, there is another way for Blink to remove him from the flight entirely. In X-Men Days of Future Past, Blink is seen utilizing her portals to allow Colossus to gain a lethal amount of momentum by falling continuously through two portals before crash landing into a senator. Blink could do the same thing to Deadpool but keep the portals going for as long as it takes. This could amount to a battle of wills, but if Blink was free from the distractions that led to her death in X-Men, days of future past, she could simply portray Deadpool into a Sisfin nightmare. Number 8. Domino could seemingly beat anyone she wants. Domino possesses some pretty mind-blending powers that could run things around Deadpool. While Deadpool's healing factor makes him impervious to anything, Domino's look in tenement to the same invincibility, only even more frustrating. This would lock the two in a brawl that could only end one way, Deadpool's loss. In Deadpool 2, Domino may not have been able to physically go two to two with ultra-power characters like Juggernaut, but her luck prevents her from losing at all. An eternal string of unfortunate occurrence is all it would take for Deadpool to throw in the towel. Number 7. Colossus beat Deadpool already. The relationship between Deadpool and his big, steely friend Colossus is one of the most entertaining features of the Deadpool movies. 
It began with a fight in which Deadpool attempted to wail on the X-Men recruiter, only to break his limbs as he repeatedly, yet impotently, struck Peter's metal body with full force. While played for laughs, it also demonstrates how powerful Colossus is, affected his brawl with the unstoppable juggernaut helps to prove. Given that Deadpool's main mode of attack is metal weaponry, it's hard to see how he could overcome Colossus if Colossus actually tried. Number 6. Beast can figure out how to remove Deadpool's healing factor. As one of the Marvel's smartest characters, Beast is one of the few heroes who could best Deadpool with brains over brown. Hank's lifelong goal of bringing his mutant to heal would have reached its zenith in his later years, affording him the means with which to surpass Deadpool's healing factor should he feel it necessary. Short of simply being big-brained, however, Hank McCoy also has the combat proves to wield his secret weapon against Deadpool before delivering the cop de grace in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Number 5. Nightcrawl could teleport Deadpool anywhere. The extent of Nightcrawl's ability is often curtailed by his inexperience in the X-Men movies. But a night crawl in full control of his faculties is a force to be reckoned with. In this sense, night crawl shares an advantage with Azazel in their ability to get creative about where to teleport their foy. In a tussle with Deadpool, night crawl needs only to shift his opponent to the right spot, the steel box, a volcano, or the nothingness of space. To name a few, and immediately teleport anyway to gain the ultimate upper hand. Number 4. Rogue could give Deadpool what he truly wants. Rogue's ability to defeat Deadpool was laid bare in the fact that she nearly defeated the otherwise indestructible Wolverine, who sustainably shares the same skill set. In fact, with enough time in direct contact, Rogue could defeat any mutant in existence by simply sapping them of their powers. The bonus of taking on Deadpool's healing factor would only work in her favor, as any radiations would be met with a swift recovery as the power draining continues. Then, there is a fact that Deadpool, who sees his invincibility as a curse, would likely not want to relate at all. Number 3. Professor X can destroy Deadpool's chaotic mind. The scale of the telepathic powers at Xavier's as disposal is hard to overstate. Not only would Professor X be able to shut Deadpool's mind down, but he may even be able to afford Deadpool a measure of incapacitating tranquility, which is the more likely tactic from Xavier. While there is a precedent set in the comics that saw Professor X die after attempting to rid Deadpool's mind, this was a specific version of Deadpool who was sent on a murderous rampage after learning the truth that the universe was a lie in Deadpool's kills, the Marvel Universe. Deadpool from the movies, while beleaguered by mental strife and whatever power it is that allows him to break the fourth wall, likely doesn't have a mind toxic enough to destroy Professor X's. Then, there is the more drastic option of mind controlling anyone else who would stand a better chance at besting Deadpool in a physical fight. Either way, Professor X's powers granted him the ability to kill any mutant alive, so it's hard to see why Deadpool would be an exception. Number 2. Deadpool could lose to his own variant. While Deadpool tried and failed to blow himself up, he proceeded to defeat himself by the end of the same movie, simply by shooting his malignant first iteration in X-Men Origins. 
Wolverine in the head. Not only that, but Deadpool has a habit of killing his variants in the comics. The Deadpool Corps, a group that comprises various weird and wonderful Deadpool variants, such as Darkpool, was similarly killed off by the evil Deadpool Corp, led by the same Deadpool that was able to kill Professor X in the comics. And number one, very few can stand up to Phoenix. Jean Grey is a formidable telepath in her own right, but Jean Grey empowered by the Phoenix first is practically unstoppable. While Wolverine was able to kill Jean Grey with the help of his healing factor, Deadpool's lack of emotional bond with Phoenix puts him at a very distinct disadvantage, though Deadpool would likely withstand the full brunt of Phoenix's powers, it would at least incapacitate him long enough for Jean Grey to claim victory in Deadpool 3. Ok guys, what do you think? Do you reckon Deadpool can beat these guys or not? Let me know what's on your mind in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and subscribed, make sure to also like. I will see you next time.